Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me here today. In this video, I wanted to talk about some of the parameters related to the Cardano blockchain. There are a lot of technical terms involved with understanding the Cardano project. Today, I wanted to break down some of the technical terms and make them easy to understand to help you make more informed decisions throughout your journey. A few of the parameters that are currently being debated within the Cardano community include K, A0, and D. These are three of the most relevant parameters that will influence the growth of the network over time. Let's start with K. In simple terms, K refers to the number of desired pools within the ecosystem. It's used to drive growth in the number of pools by encouraging delegators to spread their stake. By setting a cap on the amount of stake that earns rewards or the saturation threshold, new delegators are directed towards pools that have less stake. The K parameter was set to 150 at the Shelley Hard Fork the overall goal in choosing the setting of the parameter will be to maximize the number of sustainable pools that the network can support. With more than 1,000 stake pools that are currently active on the network, this parameter is being investigated carefully by the engineers that design the protocol. The next parameter that is relevant to delegators and stake pool operators is A0. This parameter directly influences the significance that a stake pool operator's pledge will have on the overall rewards for the stake pool. ADA that is pledged by pool owners provides essential protection against Sybil attack. A scenario of a Sybil attack would be, let's say if there was a bad actor that tried to attack the network by creating a large number of pools and then manages to gain a majority stake within the network. The initial setting for this parameter is 0.3 and is intended to balance the level of Sybil attack protection against the required pledge. Higher pledge can be used to compensate for higher operational costs. So for example, if a pool had relatively higher operational costs, they could maintain suitable rewards and remain attractive to delegators by increasing their pledge. On the other hand, there is no minimum pledge. Pool operators can set the pledge as low or as high as they like. Rewards are influenced by their choice, but there is no set rule forcing them to pledge a specific amount. Generally speaking, pledge shows delegators the commitment a pool operator has in operating their stake pool within the best interests of the network. The third parameter that is very relevant as it comes to the evolution of the network is the D parameter. No, not dead. It's decentralization. This parameter is currently on a gradual decrement from 1 to 0 as block production by the community brings the network closer to full decentralization. The first milestone happened on August 13th at the boundary between Epoch 2.10 and 2.11. At this point, IOG's core nodes started to share the production of blocks with community stake pools. When D drops below 0.5, community stake pools will produce the majority of blocks. The network will have reached a tipping point and decentralization is inevitable. The progressive decrease in the D parameter is known as a constant decay. The gradual decrease will provide a chance for the network changes to be carefully monitored and adjustments can be made where necessary. As soon as the parameter reaches zero, IOG core nodes will be permanently switched off. At this point in time, we will have irrevocably entered a fully decentralized Cardano network. So there are a lot of technical terms related to the understanding of Cardano. And we hope that this video has given you a better understanding of some of the key topics being considered right now as we march towards this brave new world. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and by delegating to Kaizen Stake Pool. Thank you.